Hi, in this Lightboard session, we're going to talk about coarse-grained versus fine-grained APIs. So it is the million-dollar question. What is too coarse-grained? What's too fine-grained? Now, at one end of this, at the extreme, the spectrum, we've got what we would typically call the big ball of mud. Now, this can happen through carelessness or just by original intent, which was to keep everything centralized. And you can end up with quite a lot of stuff all lumped together, lots of different functional areas, very hard to maintain, very hard to do releases, and can be a bit of a maintenance nightmare. So breaking it down a bit, going to the next level, uh, we may want to start to break it apart into different functional areas or different parts of your organization, perhaps. So breaking it apart by functional area A, and functional area B, and so on. Okay, so if we've got different functional areas, we've reduced the ball of mud into smaller, hopefully more manageable chunks, but could still get a bit bloated. Now, going a bit further down, we might start to think about these different functional areas. What's a logical grouping of the functionality that belongs together? So in your accounts department, you've got, maybe you've, at this level, you've got an accounting service or an accounting API. So it's got things like maintaining transactions, maintaining customer information. So breaking it down that next level might mean that we start to look at functionally decomposing the functional areas into something a little, you know, maybe a bit more manageable. So you might start to see things like certain nouns within your organizational groups. So you might start to see things like customer API, or we might start to see things like orders. Now, the actual naming of these could probably be prefixed by the different areas, but you get the idea. So we're relating operations with customer, operations with orders. It's the nouns in your organization starting to have all the operations combined together. So changes to orders, you'd update, update this one, changes to customers, and so on. Now, going a, another level of fine-grained. So if we're going to think about really fine-grained, so if you think about your APIs or your, your individual operations, we're going to make those a deployable unit on their own. So going the next level down, very fine-grained, you'll find that you've got many, 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 many uh, very small, just individual operations. So these would have Essentially, you'd start to see verbs in the name. So you might see things like customer uh, create or update customer, lodge order, create order, whatever. So you might start to see verbs in the names. These ones would probably have nouns. These ones would have the organization groups. And the big ball of mud will probably be your organization name. So these, this is a bit of a spectrum. And the appropriate spot that's going to be the sweet spot or the Goldilocks zone for your organization is, is going to depend. When you go very fine-grained, there are more things to deploy and manage, so automation is absolutely key at a more fine-grained. If we go more coarse-grained, at one end of the extreme, there is going to be a lot of human interaction to get anything done. So you'll be doing enterprise-wide releases and so on. Um, that could happen to a certain extent here, but not quite as broad. And somewhere in the middle, somewhere in this spectrum is going to be the sweet spot. So that talks about the spectrum of granularity or how coarse grained or how fine grained. And it does require a bit of weighing up the pros and cons to see which one's going to work for you.